Hi y'all, it's Wendy here again from Toon Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be trying out pins. Now pins like these are what you use to put around the outside of coasters, of objects, to make them shine, to make them look attractive, to give them an edge. So I thought, as some people insist that you have to seal them in, some people insist that you don't have to seal them in. Now there's lots of different pens on the market and I don't have all of them. I just have these ones. These are available obviously in the UK because that's where I live. So we'll try out these pens, not on the edge, but on flat resin. <laughs> Let's try and clean them off with water, with isopropyl no alcohol, with alcohol. I mean, after all, if you're making a coaster that is designed for drinks, it probably is going to get wet. So let's see if they come off easily, if they stay on really well. Yeah, let's find out how we get on. So before I can test the pens, I need to make something to test them on. I'm using some mold release spray on a mold and I'm using Vista Cascade with black and white pigments from Vuba Vista. I'm just going to pour in black and white onto this rectangular mold because I want half of the board black and half of the board white so you can actually see some of the colours that are more dark or some that are more light. So after waiting 24 hours, I didn't bother putting a top coat on this because it is for experimental reasons only. And this is the first colour that I'm going to be using. It's a Decor Colour Premium by Ashida. And what I decided to do was write them on each side, black and white, so that you can see them, and I'm going to number them 1 to 10. Second one is the Gold Leafing Pen by Krylon, 18 karat. Now I did have a little bit of trouble getting this one to work, but I think it's the pen because I've had it for quite a while. This isn't a test of the pens themselves, it's just a test to see if they come off easily. This one's Pentel Paint Marker. And I will link everything in the description below. And I'll even put the numbers next to them so you can see which ones it is you're looking at. This one is a Uni Paint Marker. This is number four. quite thick. I had trouble drawing with that one. You need chalk marker this one and it's in gold. Now as it's a chalk marker I did think this probably wouldn't last because it's not a permanent marker. This one's Liquitex white. Now obviously I'm not going to be able to see that on the white background which is another reason I want to do it half white and half black so you could see that one. This one has come from a set, it's a metallic colour pen, and it's a blue one. We're up to number seven. This one's liquid chrome. Again, I will put everything linked below. I do love my liquid chrome, got to be honest. It's a gorgeous, shiny colour. Now we've got the leafing pen from Testors. Premium and gold, that's number nine. And the last one is metallic craftwork pen, which is gold. Now I do appreciate we had a lot more room on this board. So what I thought I'd do was to put lines down for each of the pen so that you could actually see a bit more in detail how easy they are to get off. I said I did have problems with number two pen, the Krylon, but I think that was the pen, it's his age, not the pen itself. So when, as we're not really testing the pens, just to see whether they come off, please forgive the state of some of these, they're quite old. If you have any questions, comments or ideas, please use the section below, I'll always get back to comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, maybe you would consider doing so, it doesn't cost anything and it does help my channel out. And I've recently joined Amazon Associates again. I did try it when I was beginning, but now I'm trying it again. If you'd like to use any of my Amazon affiliate links, it won't cost you any more, but I get a little bonus for my channel. So I'm just showing you here all 10 pens. Now, the longer you leave a pen to dry, 
the harder it becomes. So I decided to leave this for a whole week. Yep, a whole week to make sure it was completely dried off. Gave it a good chance. So the first thing I'm going to use is a baby wipe. Now we all use baby wipes in resin, or most of us do, and I thought it's a good place to start. It's just made of water, so basically I'm washing it with a cloth, that's what a baby wipe does. So I'm going to go through each pen on each colour, if necessary, to see if I can budget at all with a baby wipe. I'll put the pens up to the right hand side so that you can see how they're faring. Number two, number one stayed, number two is doing fine. Number three, a little bit of a mark, but nothing much. Try it on the black and the white, just in case. Okay, number four is the Uni Paint Marker. I have sped 90% of this video up for you so that you don't have to sit through everything. Number five, now here's where we fall down, the Uni Chalk Pen. I did think that this would come off as it's meant to be, I think, for a chalkboard and one that you can wipe off easily, so that did not work at all. Now I've cleaned it off on the one side, there's no point in doing it on the other side as well. I'm trying Liquitex white now. I know it's difficult to see on the white side, but it stayed. Now we're on to the metallic blue, and this came from the set. And although there's still a blue mark, it did come off quite easily with a baby wipe. Onto the liquid chrome, and that seems to be staying put. Onto leafing pen again, staying put. And the last one is a metallic gold, and yes, gone completely straight away with a baby wipe. So that's not so good. So we had three failures there, just with a baby wipe, and they're the three that have gone. So now we're down to seven. And we're going to use isopropanol alcohol for this. It should be easy to see if it's coming off as well as it's a white cotton pad. Now this is coming off quite easily but it was quite thin so the rest wouldn't budge. Now we're on to pen 2 which is a Krylon and that is coming off surprisingly easily. So, Krylon came off with isopropanol alcohol. Down on to number three, and again, another one falls at the isopropanol alcohol. And came off quite surprisingly easy, actually. On to number four, Paint Unibond didn't budge, hardly at all. Only on the very, very thin places. Now we're onto the liquid X and I'm trying it on the other side because you won't be able to see it on white and yes it's gone. Isopropanol alcohol wiped it off very easily. Onto the liquid chrome and again isopropanol alcohol wiped it completely away. And the tester and the tester leafing pen again another one falls. So by this point, pretty much all we've got left is number one and number four. But I thought it would be fun to try out some alcohol. So now we've got vodka. And as we've still got some on the other side, I thought let's see what vodka actually would do to some of these pens. So I went through the ones that were left on the right hand side and sure enough, a couple of them just wiped off easily. But they were the ones we went with baby wipe originally, apart from the liquid chrome. Liquid Chrome did not like vodka at all. But now, see, I wanted to get rid of number one and number four of this board, and I thought I'm going to have to have a clean up with isopropanol alcohol, make some nice squeaky sort of sounds. OK, 
because you can't beat squeaky sounds, can you? But one and four are the two that were left. So I thought about it for a minute and I thought, let's try some nail polish remover and see if they will come off with that. So number four, nail polish remover. Again, squeaky noises. Don't you just love them? And that just left me with number one. So I got out the sticky stuff remover. And it came off like a dream. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? And <laughs> nothing stayed on my tray at all. What can I say? They all came off under pressure. Now, the two that lasted the longest were the Ashida Gold, that one, and the Uni Paint Marker. The only drawback is this one is more mustard than gold, but it did last. Now, obviously, I don't have all of them on from the market. I I can only use what I have and I did buy a couple specially for this but from the ones I had you saw the results. If you want to put this kind of pen on the outside of a coaster or a tray you might want to consider sealing it in with varnish with a coat of resin. If you don't there is a possibility it will come off. Now this Ashida did work really really well that's upside down isn't it? did work really, really well. And I would trust this personally. You might want to do your own little tests on what pens you have. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this one. Certainly different. Come back and see me next week. You never know what I'm going to be up to. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week. Happy crafting. Bye for now.